Hello everyone, Raimi here, and welcome to the second part of my playthrough of Wither Super Mario Bros. U. In the previous episode we played through the first 8 stages of this mod, I believe, and now we're continuing on with the next 7 stages. This mod was created by a guy named Dr. Yoshi. Um, you can check out the download link and trailer and stuff for this mod in the description. And yeah, let's uh, continue with this mod. All climb chaos, all right. Okay, looks like for once we're going to just use um, default tile sets. I'm fine with that. You know, creating a custom ghost house tile set is quite annoying because they're like very strange tile sets in a sense, not very traditional. There is certainly a pole. Okay, interesting. Also, ghost house tiling is very strange um, the way Nintendo does it. It can sometimes be a bit confusing. I'm interested to see if this stage does it well or not. So far, I think it's been good. I, I wasn't quite paying attention to that section earlier. There might have been some strange stuff there, actually. Do I want to go in the door? Probably not. What? Wait, what? Did I just... Wait, hold on. Those tiles are solid? What? What for? Why are they solid? So this section, this uh, stage is just an infinite amount of... What? Can I escape? Haven't I now just checked every single door? Oh, well I got a star coin. Do I want to go down this pole? I don't, apparently. Um... Yeah, it seems like someone didn't quite extend their walls up high enough. I can just get up here, but I don't think there's any, like, point to that. So how do I progress? This thing seems to be layer zero over here, but I don't... Oh, wait! Hold... I'm an idiot. I am actually an idiot. Wow. I, I somehow didn't get... Okay, wow. Yeah, okay, no, I, that's that's all that's all on me. All right, whatever. Hi right, there, Big Boo. How are you doing? Yeah, this is... This sage lives up to its name. Oh, there's a... There's a have there been mechanics on every single midway? I don't think so, but I haven't... No, I think all the other midways so far, except for, like, the this one and the fuzzy one, have been, um, just normal. I might have missed them, though. Maybe I maybe I, uh, I did miss those. If so, I'm sorry, but they, they, they're probably really cool. So far, the fuzzy one and the boo one are really cool. I like the way that if you hit the, the boo one, the, you know, boo opened its eyes. That was really cool. Yeah, this is just nothing but climbing bubbles, isn't it? Once again, not as interesting. Like I said, uh, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but, um, oh, um, using just a single mechanic in your stage is a bit dull. <laughs> like using all, only the stretch blocks in one dash one. Um, I guess there's also boos, but boos aren't really a mechanic. They're an enemy and like not very like um, variable enemy at that. I like the music, I have no idea what it's from. The way that block there is like cut off, or not cut off, but you can see like it, it, it stops at the bottom. Very peculiar, but then like that wouldn't really, what, what would that indicate, you know? I'm not going to jump down there. I've already made, made that mistake once. Oh, and we're out. All right. We possibly miss this at the start line. Yeah, possibly. Or, well, it seems like it might not be over yet, actually. Oh, I bet you. Hold on. Uh, yes. Okay. How do I, can I get out of here without taking damage? Probably not. Well, that works. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, that was um, <laughs> interesting. I don't know. A lot of these stages are honestly not that interesting. Like, well, not not that like um, exciting, I suppose. As you say, they are quite interesting. But that stage was just climbing all the poles all over the place and all the laser walls and stuff and nothing else. I, I guess there was also like scaredy rats and boos, but like I said, those just don't really count. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. That was alright, I guess. Um, I like some of the secrets. Um, yeah. Onto Wacky Woods Dash 4 Drawn Hellscape. So I guess we're gonna stick to the painted theme. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Painted, um, lava star. Oh, okay, well, thank you. That's a lot of Roblox. Okay, yes, that's kind of what I was waiting for, because, like, why would there be so many Roblox? Alright, we got the raining fireballs and a star coin. A very, very lazy one but it works i i would have probably changed i think the background might be changed a little bit i feel like there's more red in it than there used to be but um i would have probably changed it a bit more because right now it, it doesn't really fit <laughs> also the pa0 it doesn't have lava lighting i just realized yeah that should probably have been done oh yeah now see that midway didn't have a uh, like a pudaboo or something on it so yeah it seems like that was unique to the power and the ghost house for some reason 
Maybe the castle will also have it. It's like only like inside inside stages that have it for some reason. Can you make that? No, you can't. What? Is that an exit pipe? No way you can make that. Unless I do like a no, no. I... Oh wait. Okay, that works. Just barely sneaked in there. Yeah, a lot of the bonus rooms in this uh, mod seem to be like one screen bonus rooms, which are all quite simple. But I'm okay with that. Oh my lord, there's so many fireballs. <laughs> Alright, another very simple pipe, I imagine. With another one screen bonus room, which is not all that hard. Alright, I don't mind it, but it does seem to be very repetitive. There is most certainly a pipe up there, and I bet you that's the secret exit, which is actually the normal exit, because, you know, it's a, it's a 5-4 or whatever. There we go. The the bottom of the goal pole is missing. What? <laughs> Oh, I think that's a, that's a bug. I think he might have used accidentally the Luigi U version or something. I think that's a bug that happens sometimes. I don't know, though. Might might, might just be Simu messing up. I've definitely seen something like that before, though. Okay, anyways, moving on to 5-5, which is called Stone Eye Sanctuary, all right? So it looks like we're kind of sticking to the normal theme with Stone Eyes, yeah. Oh, this looks interesting. Oh, I I, I really like this, actually. It's, it's It kind of looks... Painted, and I'm not sure if I'm like a huge like it doesn't look very much like Nisha Mabuju, kind of like the normal forest star set as well. But I do like the general vibe, like the grass. Oh, and also the grass on top there. That looks really quite cool actually. Definitely a bit flat though, you know, like um the, the edges and stuff. But overall, it's a, it's a unique theme. Oh, no decor. Oh, this is stick. Oh, that looks really strange. The uh, using the dials like that looks really strange because they don't seem to have much like special shading, so they just blend in with the background. And also, yeah, there doesn't seem to be any decoration tiles on top of the grass, which is a bit, like, empty looking compared to, like, the forest tiles, for example, which had, like, a bazillion decorations. Using both Koopas and Dry Bones in the same stage is something I don't see often. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird choice because, like, you, you'd expect, like, they, they pretty much just serve the same, same function for the most part. Oh, it seems like we definitely missed the first Dark Wayne. I bet you there was just, like, some random, um, not Thwomp, what are they called? Stone Eye, we should have, um... With ground pounded, I guess. Yeah, once again, not the most interesting stages, especially because there's just no mechanic. Like, there's there's the stone eyes, but they don't move. They don't do anything. So what is the point? Why is there a pipe down there? What? Maybe... No? Oh, there we go. All right. I was really su suspecting that on the other side, but I guess it was this side. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this, the tiling in this stage either. It seems very square and empty. Oh my lord, that stone eye, what the heck? Yeah, definitely, yeah, this is the second star, which we definitely missed the first one. No surprises there. Is this layer zero? It sure is. That semi-solid seems out of place. <laughs> oh, now we're underwater. Definitely a very unique theme. The, the wall here is layer zero. In fact, that guy is inside layer zero section. There we go, all right. I suppose if that's intentional, the way that guy went into there. That's a interesting way of giving away layer zero, like, intentionally, I suppose. Yeah, this looks very... This, I guess kind of remind me of the uh, the tower stage we had earlier. Whoa, the camera is moving up so much, so fast. Like, uh, it's set to track the player really... Like, it's probably like a set to 100 or something, or maybe even more. I suppose we're also supposed to look for a secret exit, maybe, because that's, like, the intentional route to get out of here, possibly. But yeah, so there's a, there's a layer zero thing down here. Ugh. Oh, this is cool. Can we just go way past? Oh, I, okay. Well, that makes me sad. I kind of wish we, we, we would have been able to just go past the, the thing and just that there was just another exit behind it. But this works too. Yeah, there we go. Secret exit. All right. Crap, I wasn't paying attention. I think it's this route though. Yeah, there we go. Okay, awesome. <laughs> On to 5-6, I think. Which one's 5-6? I have no idea. No, that's 7. So let's do 6 first. There we go. We're on the pipeline. All right. Okay, got the normal forest theme again. And another one up because, oh my god. What? What's the point of this? I guess this is to get up here, but like you can get up there. But, like this, this is this is more of a difficult jump than getting up here from down here, I'd almost say. Like, like, like this is this is easy. But like, okay, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. All right then. Hello, Wiggler. How are you doing? There. He... Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say. I, I, I guess you saw in the background. They almost look the same as the normal pipes in terms of coloring. They're a bit darker, but not. It's not that big of a change. So it's a bit weird. 
Also, the blowing effect of these uh, river power plants is going behind these pipes because I guess they're on layer two, so that's our layer one, I mean, so a bit odd, but okay. Yeah, this is a tried and te tested. Uh, oh no, that's not. <laughs> oh no, Wiggler, go back. No, and what's it going to the pipe? Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, this is a tried and tested um, mechanic, I guess, for a stage, having a, a Wiggler auto scroller kind of thing. But there we go. Another, another very you know classic thing having a, uh, a, a a pipe which is a different color from all the other pipes and that's the one you have to enter this section doesn't have the fog but the other one does which makes this section kind of feel weird yeah because yeah because he just has the the fog effect yeah look at this like the pipes are almost the same color like they're definitely a different color i can tell but they're, they're like if you if you can't see any of the pipes on the screen it almost looks like they're just normal pipes it's a bit, bit confusing, not gonna lie. Though I guess having them all be mini pipes does make it a bit less confusing and all of the normal pipes are on like layer one. So yeah, it's a, that distinction I guess works uh, as well. Is there a layer zero thing up here? No, it sure isn't. That midway is floating, all right. Hello there, uh, okay. No, wait, do I have to? Oh, damn it, I have to wait for this wiggler now. There we go, simple enough. Oh, hey, and that's the second star coin. I was kind of thinking it might have been the third, but no, all right, we're good. Oh, no, no, no. If I hadn't done the ground pound cancel, I would have survived that, but I thought I wouldn't have survived it, so I did the ground pound cancel and then I died. So, yes, yeah, so that's just on me. <laughs> oh, I almost made that. <laughs> Yeah, still not the most, like, it, it, it's not the most uh, challenging of stages, but I definitely, I, I, I think I'm definitely uh, really liking this stage so far. Um, yeah, it, it, it's good. Um, it's not it's not the most unique thing in the world. The, the dial sets are very simple as well, but it's, it's it functions very well, I suppose you could say. Is this the normal? See, I'm not sure now. Is that the normal exit of the stage? I think it is, or is this a bonus room? Yo, know, yeah, it's because that was the normal exit of the stage, but there was no indicate. like, it, I wasn't sure, because it was so obvious that the stage was still going to continue on to the right, but I guess to get that third star coin, you're just supposed to go on in that section, but I don't care to get that, I mean, I don't care to get all the star coins anyways, um, but yeah, it's a bit of a shame, like, I saw that coming, but there was no way for me to tell, I guess I could have gone to the right, but then I might have just been skipping a bonus room for all I knew, so, I don't know, bit of a lose-lose situation, that. Okay, giant gardens, which I guess we can kind of know what to expect from this stage. Also, again, got a zoom zero. I'm not a fan of that, but maybe the rest of the stage will be good, anyways. <laughs> okay, I, I kind of expect, expecting a soccer win, but I guess it was really simple, so can't complain. Yeah, so in 5 1 of these powers, you um, had the same kind of mechanic of like, oh, there's giant enemies everywhere. It wasn't really used in any interesting ways. I'm hoping to see this stage do something different with it instead of just being, it's a normal stage, except everything is giant, and that gives us an excuse to not really have any actual mechanics, you know? Um, so far, I guess it does have these uh, rolling jungle log, whatever, whatever they're called. And those are quite a mechanic. They're not really the most interesting thing in the world, honestly. I, the fact that I can't see what I presume to be poison water below me is kind of annoying here. Like, for all I know, there might be like a whole land thing down there with a star coin or whatever. But there's no way for me to tell, so I'm not going to risk it. Also, that was stupid. Is that, see, did that shell just now... Oh, it did. How, how am I supposed to know that, though? <laughs> you know? I guess I'm supposed to get a coop, a big What? Oh, that's the midway already. No, okay. Is that guy on there? Oh, he is. Okay. Can I do this? I... Oh, wow. Okay, then. <laughs> How am I supposed to get a Koopa shell down here? I guess I could get that big Koopa up there. Um, give him a push. Does that work? Uh, apparently no. There's a Paracoopa up there, but that wouldn't do the trick with it. I don't think so. Oh, it would. Well, never mind then. <laughs> here I was trying to get a big Koopa and it was, yeah, okay, whatever. Why is this section dark? I don't know, but I guess it works. I guess it does make it look very, like, unique. That was a fun one. I actually really like that. That was nice. Like it's simple, it's but it's like effective and it's quite unique. And yeah, that was good. Yes, yeah, so this stage um, seems to be just basically you know quote unquote log spam, um, plus quote unquote mega spam, 
had not much else, but I don't really mind it. Like, it does have a very unique vibe, and like the well, the first Dark One was completely like just very simple garbage, pretty much. Um, but the second Dark One was really good, so yeah, it's, it's alright. So, like, okay, so we had that at the very beginning of the stage as well. That, like, whole Koopa and then, like, but then there wasn't a Star Coin there. But why is it that now at the very end of the stage, when we were already used to the mechanic, now it's suddenly worth a Star Coin to do that? Like, it's it's very strange. Like, I would have I would have done the reverse. Like, had, had the first Star Coin be in a section like that, and the third Star Coin would, wouldn't be in a section like that. Because that way it kind of builds the mechanic. Whereas now, like, yeah, you're already used to the whole, like, pushing the big Koopa shells into the big brick block thing. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know, whatever. There we go. It's, yeah, simple enough stage. Um, not a fan of the Star Coin or the first one, honestly, but the second one was really good. And, um, yeah, it's fine. Okay, Iggy's Poison Power Plant, which might be the final stage of the mod, actually. Well, this looks unique. All right, then. Recolored, um, like, actually just recolored the final castle, from, like, everything. Like, these, plat these platforms here from the final castle. The tile sets from the final castle, the backgrounds from the final castle. Yep, yo, know, everything is bloody purple now. Which is interesting because Iggy's colours wouldn't really be purple, more so green, but I guess it does fit with um, poison water. That's the tiling area down there. That's uh, something, I mean, like, Woody does a lot of that as well, so I can't really blame you for it, but like, yeah, it's not really, I suppose, to tile castles that. Oh god, am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? I'm dead, okay. The exact same tiling area repeated again. Actually, it might be that the, the land blocks will actually copy pasted, I'm not sure. Does this stage just going to be dry bones and moving platforms? If so, that's not the most uh, interesting mechanics for a castle ever. Oh god, I'm not dead, but I didn't get the cycle either. There we go. Also got the DS castle theme, so that's nice. Good theme. The PA0, once again, doesn't really fit the stage. Like, it would have been cooler if it had, like, a special... Like, wait, why are there lava... Wait, why is there lava lighting and why are there lava particles? Both of those things could have been removed from the background. I guess maybe uh, Dr. Yoshi, the mod creator, didn't know about that. But yeah, that could, that, that would have probably uh, made it a little bit more immersive, I suppose. And also, like I said, changing the PA0 might have been cool. No. Oh yeah, so this is definitely like, interesting uses of this mechanic, but I still feel like there could have been more added to the stage than just these platforms. Oh god, that's a... Uh... That's a, it's kind of a funny sight, not gonna lie, having that big, like, background thing, but then just a small door. Alright, then. We didn't even get a midway yet, so are we going to have, like, the final Bowser boss? I mean, no, because Iggy's here. I, I don't know what to expect, really. Oh, okay, so we're just simply okay. Yeah. Hey, it's Iggy midway. I made one of those at some point. Also, yes, yeah, so I guess that means that um, every single indoor stage, as in the tower, the castle, and the ghost house, had the, um... The customized midways and the rest of the stages didn't. I'm not sure why, but I guess it's cool. Sure. Oh god, don't kill me. There we go. Nice wood coin section, I suppose. Okay, this is kind of a lot like the, um, what was it, the first Star Coin, I think? Yeah. Except now it's in the bonus room, I suppose. Oh god. This stage has definitely uh, rammed up the difficulty quite a bit. Oh lord, I'm alive. Yeah, I definitely feel like more could have been done with this mechanic than, or like just like by just adding another mechanic to it, basically, like like having like fire bars or something. But still, like I would say that, uh, like uh, pretty much anything you could do with simply platforms on their own has been done with these platforms now in this stage. So that's quite nice. Oh, okay, interesting. Because this is the third star coin. No, I'm dead. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I knew as soon as I jumped, I'm dead. Yes. Okay, this stage is about to get a heck of a lot easier because I just uh, equipped another acorn suit. Because why not? I can't be bothered to play all of this again. <laughs> there we go. Now on to the boss fight, I presume. Maybe we'll get like another midway. That could be a thing or I don't know. No, we're just right into Iggy, all right. Hello, Iggy. We just had a whole castle about poison water, and now, of course, logically, we've got a boss fight with magmoles and lava and stuff. Makes sense to me. Interesting music. I have no idea what it's from. As usual, I suppose. Actually, it's definitely from Kirby. I can hear the, the main Kirby theme in it. <laughs> no! Oh, I almost got him. Damn it, I have to wait another cycle. 
There we go. All right. Um, yeah, so that could be the end of the mod, but I'm pretty sure um, five dash secret, which is like the um, the vine stage, or like well, the stage where you climb up a vine and end up in World Seven. Um, I'm pretty sure that was replacing this one as well. So I might have to go back now and <laughs> look for a secret exit in that stage because I only just remember that. Like, oh yeah, there's more to this mod. It, also, it, it could also still be that um, six dash one is like an actual stage. I don't know. Um, it's definitely been replaced in the files. So yeah, we're gonna have to take a look at that as well. All right, the end of the road, dash one credits. All right, do I want to play this now? Um, yeah, sure, whatever. Thanks for playing, would it to Marajou? A mod, by, a mod made by Dr. Yoshi. Wow, he's even got his own logo, awesome. Logo itself looks fine, I guess. It, I guess the, the desaturated um, bushes and stuff makes uh, sense now with the way the mod looks. What's this all about? That's strange. Level design, Dr. Yoshi, custom tiles at Dr. Yoshi, playtesting, play Menafi 10, and Grantismas. Special thanks to Rhymia, Nintendo, and everyone playing this. Why am I in the credits? I actually have no idea. Well, no problem, I suppose. And there we go. Alright. Um, why is there a bouncy cloud? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna go back now and look for the secret exit in the ghost house, and I'll see you guys there. Oh, hey, there we go. Alright, awesome. I imagine this is the secret exit at least, otherwise I wouldn't know what I just found. Yeah, it looks like it. Awesome. Alright, so on to uh, 5 dash secret. Wacky Woods dash boomerang, I suppose? Treetop war zone. Oh, that sounds uh, ominous. Alright, interesting. So we got the trees from the tower tile set. Or no, the, the tree tile set from the tower stage. Yes, that's what I meant to say. And bouncy. Clouds and boomerangs and all right, that makes sense, I guess. Not sure why it's called War Zone though. Like, geez, what's what's about to happen here? You know? <laughs> yeah, the boomerang bros plus bouncy clouds, of course, reminds me a lot of um, what's it called again, like boom bouncy boomerangs. I think is stage name, something like that from the original game. Nice Using the um, tropical freeze um, secret seclusion music makes sense, given that it's a secret stage and also like above the sky and stuff. Yeah, above the sky, no, above above the clouds, yes. Oh, you didn't set the bouncy clouds to semi-solid, you can do that actually. Not sure why you didn't, that would have been a bit of an improvement, I think. Yeah, it seems to basically just be a bunch of bouncy clouds and trees and boomerang bros, and that's fine. Even got a, a boomerang midway flag, because why not? I wonder how many boomerang bros this stage has, jeez, like this, like, I think it's been like 15 so far or something. Don't really think I'll need a spring for this stage, given I've already got the Aegon suit. Oh, oh, god. Oh, I'm good. I get the I get the usage usage of the word war zone now, I suppose, because look at how many bloody boomerang bros there are. Okay, I'm good. I, oh, that was kind of a blind jump there, but I could have used the platform, but I didn't, so yeah. No! Oh my god, there's so many boomerangs. <laughs> Die! There is a secret pipe up here, I think, or there's a sign? Wait, what? Oh, that's cool, I guess. I'm supposed to hit the... Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to. Oh, I thought that was... Oh, I wasn't really paying attention. Damn. I guess I can go back. Can I go back? That's a, that's a cool bonus room concept, though. Like, um, the, the, the boomerang bro, and then, like, it, it can hit you, but then you can use the pipe cannon to get back up, and you, you'll kill the boomerang bro, probably. Yes, there we go. I wouldn't really say the um, the sunset aesthetic tile set really fits with the way the tree tile set looks, but oh well. That was a very unique stage. I get, you know, I kind of get putting that into a secret stage though, because it's very strange and like very hard as well with all the boomerang bros, but that was really cool. Anyways, um, yeah, that's uh, that's it for the mod guys, I think. I'm pretty sure I've played all of the stages now. Um, I think it's somewhere that it's 15 stages. I, I could go over that in my head, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, all the stages. So if you enjoyed this playthrough, um, please make sure to leave a like on this video. That, that you know, makes sure more people get to see it, and I'd really appreciate that. And if you really love this and you haven't already, you could also maybe consider subscribing to the channel. We're going to do more playthroughs, more other analyses and other things. Um, so yeah, that would be really nice as well. Anyways, that's going to do it for me for today, guys. Uh, see you later and bye-bye.